Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Today, I want to share a workout routine for the practice pad that I devised about a month ago. So, this past summer, I've been out of town a lot, and over the years, every time I come back home after not playing for a while, my hands just feel like mush. I'm sure you've all been there. So, I spent a few days kind of creating a workout routine that combines standard exercises with some rudiments, and this has been really effective. In the short term, it's going to help you get back in shape, and in the long term, it's going to help you strengthen your wrists and your fingers and eventually develop your chops, which hopefully we all want to do. I'm going to also share a link to the PDF so you can all refer to it and print it out, and please try it out. And I'd love to hear back in the comment section of this video on how it all worked out for you guys. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, so here's a couple tips that'll help you with this ultimate drum pad workout. Do it every day. Do it at at least three different tempos. Start slow. Remember, it's important to go for clarity before speed. When I started this, I started around 70 BPM, and I've worked it up to 92 BPM. Use the heaviest pair of sticks you own. I'm currently using this Vic Firth Tom Hannum model called the Beast. If you don't own a pair of heavy drumsticks, go out and get yourself a pair of super heavy drumsticks because it's going to help you develop your chops. It's going to strengthen your wrists. It's going to strengthen your fingers. Now, we are going to dissect all five phrases of this ultimate drum pad workout. All right, now I'm going to break down each of the five phrases. In phrase one, we've got flat flams, not regular flams. So we don't want to hear any brace notes. It's very challenging to play flat flams because you've got to maintain very relaxed wrists and make sure that the sticks are landing on the drum at the exact same time. So this is a good way to get both hands warmed up right away. The other benefit of phrase one is that it takes you through eighth notes, eighth note triplets, and sixteenths. So you're working on various rhythms and timing against a click. So I'm just going to keep some time in the hats and take you through phrase one one time. Remember, each of these phrases in this workout routine needs to be completed four times. Okay, moving on to phrase two, as you can see, there's a right hand lead as well as a left hand lead. To save time, I'm just going to show you the right hand lead. We start with eight on a hand, and then that's followed by our single stroke roll in 30 second notes. So this is going to strengthen your right hand, and then your right hand lead single stroke roll, and then you're going to strengthen your left hand. So let's check this out. One, two, three, four. And then you would go to the left hand and repeat the same exercise. Okay, so now we're going to go to phrase three, which focuses on accents and double stroke rolls. Now, the way I've got this arranged is I'm actually playing tap accent. Most of us are comfortable playing accent taps, but this is going to be a little more challenging because we're accenting the upbeats. And by accenting the upbeat, you're also strengthening the weak note in your double stroke roll. So if you play a diddle or a rebound, the weak note is that second note. So by playing tap accents, we're actually strengthening that note. Okay, let's check out phrase three. And then you would repeat the same exercise with a left hand lead. Okay, moving on to phrase four. Here, we're gonna combine a measure of flam accent followed by the flam drag. Check it out. And then you would repeat those two bars three more times. Okay, finally we get to phrase five, which combines the paradiddle diddle, four of them to be exact, and then 
we turn around with a triple paradiddle to go to our left hand lead. So I'll play through this one time. Check this out. 